Okay, before we get into this video, please turn off any distractions, turn off your phone, and make sure to click the notification bell and subscribe if you do want to see any more videos about lucid dreaming. So lucid dreaming, we know that lucid dreaming is the ability to control your dreams, okay? And, all right, so lucid dreaming is the ability to control your dreams. What happens when you smoke cannabis, weed, or marijuana, however you want to say it? Now, this is a bit of a controversial video because a lot of people claim that it helps their dreams, and it does to an extent, and I'm gonna get onto that in a minute. I have a nightmare with this tripod today. All right, for the most part, it doesn't help your dreams. It actually makes your dreams worse, and in effect, it sort of lowers your REM sleep. So cannabis is a REM suppressant. This means that if you, if you smoke it or ingest it or whatever, through edibles or whatever people are doing these days, when you ingest the substance, the active ingredients will suppress your REM sleep, meaning you'll get less REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement sleep, in any given night. What that means for you in practical terms is less dreams, or no dreams, and much less chance of being lucid because you need to have a dream in order to be lucid. You need to have REM sleep in order to have a lucid dream. So, so short term, you smoke the weed, it stops you having dreams, or at the very least, it massively damages your chances of having dreams and having lucid dreams. So that's one problem. However, the solution to this, if you're gonna keep smoking weed and if you have to keep taking it for maybe medical reasons or you know, if you want to or whatever, um, obviously check with the laws where you live. I don't know, it might be legal, it might not be. You need to be aware of the REM rebound effect. So what happens when you suppress your REM sleep? Well, your body says, okay, I'm not getting the REM sleep I need because the body needs the REM sleep. So it starts to think of ways to get that debt back. It's like a bank, if you borrow some money from a bank, you can take some money, short term, but then eventually they're gonna want that money back with, with interest, right? They're gonna want that money back plus a bit more. Your body's the same. So with a sleep debt or with a REM sleep debt, you suppress the REM sleep in, in the first part of your experience, right? So you smoke weed, suppresses your REM sleep for a day or more. But then when you stop smoking weed, when you come off it, okay, even if you just take a few days break, your body will suddenly think, okay, the REM suppressant is gone, I need to get back this REM sleep. You know, I have this debt. I need to get back this REM sleep that I've lost. So it just gives you longer REM periods of sleep. So you, you go off the cannabis, you get this massive surge of REM sleep, which is really deep, like dream territory, right? You can have intense lucid dreams in this, in this period of sleep. And that's where the myth that weed helps lucid dreaming comes from, because when people smoke weed and then stop smoking weed or take a few days off, they get the REM rebound effect, which is where the body gives you these massive long periods of REM sleep, which are very likely to have lucid dreams in them. It's not the weed affecting your dreams directly, it's your body responding and claiming back your REM sleep that the weed has stopped you having. Now this is okay, but long term it has some implications that could be damaging uh, to your sleep and your mental well-being. So it's worth you know doing your own research on this stuff. I'm sure you have already if you're taking cannabis, but do your own research and make sure you know the risks and, and the pros and cons. So it gives you REM rebound. Now in your REM rebound, you can have intense lucid dreams for a long time. Like it feels like a long time when you have them. But I wouldn't advise doing this all the time, you know, because it can have implications long term. It's not good. That is pretty much the connection between cannabis and lucid dreaming. It can give you REM rebound, but it's not good long term. Thanks for watching, guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.